cute. How are you, Katie? I'm all right. How are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he talked to you. I'm, I'm going to go to it again. We did, we did the actual hello, how are you before we start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you're just like, let's get into it. But it happened today. And, uh, you know, I've been ranting basically for like 30 minutes. So thank you for listening again. <laughs> I think sometimes we just need a warm up. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, do you want to introduce our lovely little podcast? Yeah, right. <laughs> Fine, I, I did i did such a bad i did i breathed in and didn't let it go and i just sort of went oh god what are you doing <laughs> right hi everyone welcome to all the films we judged before i'm katie and that <laughs> is lily k <Kay. laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! that's my name <laughs> oh hang on a second now before we do anything else i'm going to stop yes. making it so that my phone stops buzzing because <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be very I- distracting Oh, I muted as well. So it's, oh, yeah, it's, it's just good. I had it. I had it on vibrate, and um, my friends are chatting in our um, Instagram group chat. <laughs> so it just keeps buzzing. Fair deal. Fair deal. I'm gonna ask you this time. What did you watch last week? I finished Psych. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> all of it. I watched all three movies. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I've seen the musical. I've seen multiple episodes multiple times now because I've been watching the commentary. <laughs> I've okay. recently found out they have they're doing a rewatch podcast, so I've started listening to that. It's I'm I'm having this view. Yes, <laughs> I always forget that you haven't actually known me for as long as most people. No. This is a this is a, this is like clockwork. This just happens every. I have to find something new. I'm, look, I'm getting used to it, so it's all good. <laughs> this is very it's a very me thing to do. And I, I, it's like I finished the yeah, on Sunday. I sat down and I was kind of waiting for my thing to download because like I was just telling you I was downloading some stuff mm-hmm. um for uh video game stuff uh and I was like I don't have anything to I could just I guess I could rewatch an episode I don't know what I'm gonna do now I've got I've got nothing to, <laughs> left to watch I've seen all the episodes <laughs> I'm left bereft um, oh god <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm now going back and just being like ah, let's just put this photo for just like company <laughs> so why not why not yeah. okay that's it that's, that's pretty much it to be honest I just... did I watch anything else no I don't think so no okay. it's just it was just like I finished like fair yeah. fair what, was what are you watching <laughs> <laughs> uh well, I, I ha- had to take on the habit again to watch something while I'm drawing. Mm. Um, so I watched Yellow Jackets, which mm. was incredibly hyped lately. So I was like, ah, might as well. Um, and it's very good. <laughs> I've heard very I, good things about Yellow I, Jackets. I have to say that it was very good. Uh, it was very frustrating at points. So I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I, I actually had to stop drawing at one point because I was so frustrated with it. So I was like... Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah I, I i think i described it to you already as being a mixture between lost and uh, this is us in storytelling methods um i like the cast altogether but i will say that the character of shona which if you ever watch it you're gonna know who i'm talking about and if you guys have seen it you know who i am talking about is probably in the race to be the most annoying and self-absurd idiot i've ever seen on tv i hated her so much (laughs) that it it, uh the last time this happened was with with breaking bad um i i can't remember her name uh the Mm -hmm. wife's name um oh skylar yes oh god I just, I couldn't, I just couldn't stand her. Did you, did you not get to, because I know that lots of people don't like Skylar in the beginning, but did you get to a point where you at least like sympathized with her properly? No, no, no. no. Okay. I, just, I, I just couldn't stand that woman. I was like, <laughs> you're just horrible. <laughs> you're a horrible person. I hate you. <laughs> like, you know, I, I, I just, I was like, every Hudson time she came on. Is a murderer. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look, that's a different story, okay? She didn't know that at the beginning. She was just a bitch. So I'm like, I don't care. You're a bitch. I think I think that's why I, I was just like in the first half. It's, it 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 becomes a bit of sort of like, oh, you're you're being very, you know, you I'm... fucking Karen. 
Yeah, she, well, yeah, she's she's got she's got a sort of high and mighty vibe to her. But like in the latter half, when she has got she is going along with this in the sense that like she become I, I find she becomes the most tragic figure of the whole thing. Because, you know, her, her entire world falls apart. Like her husband turns out to be a complete nut job who <laughs> was murdered multiple people. And he's like blackmailing her consistently to keep her keep his secret, um, putting her kids in danger constantly. Yeah, I I mean, I know she's not the most um, likable person, but I think she has. I I I sympathize with her by the end. She she does. She didn't deserve that. <laughs> I just uh, I can. <laughs> I have the same feeling with Chola, with the yellow jackets. I'm like. <laughs> You're just horrible. <laughs> I don't like you at all. Like, especially uh, uh, the last episode, I was like, <laughs> like well, the, uh, <laughs> the audio listener, she's gesticulating wildly. <laughs> <laughs> I just good. I I just couldn't deal with it. I I I I I tend to have these very strong feelings when a character is written very well uh and that's usually the annoying and very evil characters that are lying so well written that it, it just ah, just annoys me so much <laughs> but uh other than that you know it it's what makes it great that all the characters are so different from each other and and i love that they weren't afraid to go wild with it and just be like look because basically they crash with a plane and they live uh, uh, in the wide for like 18 months I believe 18 or 19 months so I'm like yeah shit's gonna happen yeah and and I'm glad you're not afraid to show them so <laughs> there you go uh it's it's uh, very interesting there's this, uh, with that cliffhanger I'm very hoping for a season two but I think they already announced that there's gonna be a season two I feel like I saw something it's been doing yeah. so well I, f- so, I would be so surprised well. if they if they they didn't it would it would be weird. Uh, so I'm I'm guessing that happened. And now I have to cheat a little because uh, I have to write things up. My brain is not functioning anymore. <laughs> I think I watched something else, but I'm not sure. Give me one second. Uh, let me see. Where's, where's the here it is. <laughs> no, no, that that was it. I watched. The it. best part is that it it the book has just disappeared. I into, know. Into... <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. It's magic, kids. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't watch anything else, apparently. I did watch Raised by Wolves, which is, you know, one episode per week. So it's getting very intense and very interesting at this point and, and a bit annoying as well. Uh, but I have four episodes of Euphoria to catch up on. I just haven't. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's all. That's all. And um, I've been... I, I, I'm going to turn this to our topic... Okay. And, uh, I was thought you were going to say that next week you were going to do, well, you know, I've been waiting for you to do. Oh, definitely. <laughs> the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 on the list. It's already on my uh, laptop. So so you and know, we can, and we can talk about it next week. We're gonna, we're gonna I can talk hear about all it. of your thoughts. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're gonna talk about it next week, and the week after we're gonna talk about Batman. Uh, so oh we... God! Right. It's so close. It's so close. Uh, about it. About it. But now. It, I'm gonna talk about now we can shift. <laughs> this that's behind us because I've been talking about it nonstop, so might as well do it here mm-hmm. too. Uh, the Uncharted movie is out, and uh, uh, I think I already told you how. I felt yeah, you, about you did, it. but like you know, we need to, the, the obviously, need to know. Ob- obviously, but uh, I want you to start. Uh, you always start all all together. Talks, okay. You know. Um. I think it's a lot better than people are giving it credit for. That's my my first my first I thought. I, I keep seeing critic reviews that have been like it's very thin, and it's like I don't really care though. It's it is fun, mm-hmm. and I think it's it, it's a decent enough like you know uncharted story that I was like yeah I can kind of I buy into a lot of this. It feels very the the vibe for, it certainly felt like it was there. I had no like really no point did I buy into Mark Wahlberg being Sully just he's not he's a he's just not Sully ah oh, so that's that's your okay okay I just I can't it, like it, there were a couple of moments where he's like I and I actually mentioned this to my, my parents at dinner last night there's a, a thing in Hollywood when they write movies like these it seems like they don't understand the difference between being a complete and utter asshole 
and being a grouchy old man because half this movie he's a dick he and is. Sully's not a dick like he's 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 old and grumpy and doesn't want to run anywhere and you know um he, he, you know, yells at clouds that kind of thing mm. but he's not an asshole no. and in this he's like <laughs> like there are multiple things he does where it's just sort of like like the the, the number of times he's like hey okay we I think at this point we can start putting in like you know spoilers, spoilers. Mm-hmm. there are multiple times where you know uh, our Nathan Drake is like hey what the fuck happened to my brother and he's like yeah I guess he's dead but I don't really give a shit <laughs> and it's like what yeah no <laughs> the writing on Sonny is, is very weird it's it? so strange yeah. I, like I, I it, there was there were a couple of moments where he had sort of it was the moments of him like running around and being like I, I can't run that fast dude. yeah those are the bits where I was like, "That's Sully," but that like, Sully, I just yeah. didn't, I couldn't buy into it, I, like at at all. Like, he was just too much of a dick for me to for be Sully. On the other hand, I feel very vindicated because Tom Holland is actually a brilliant Nathan Drake. Like, he did a really good job, and he, he was is. exactly the way I thought. I, I thought yeah. he probably would be when I when I heard that he was cast. Yep, I think he did a, a spectacular job. I agree. And, um, I, I I would be very happy to see an entire franchise built off of, you know, his, him doing more yeah, of these because yeah. I do actually think he it, they would be a lot of fun. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Those were, those were my main thoughts, to be honest. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about the the plot more because I mean, I guess it, in that way it is a little bit thin because the, the plot's not really that big of a deal. I guess. <laughs> the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, here you go. All right. Uh. As I said to you as well, and I said it at the Replayer podcast, which I'm going to be guest starring in. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. <laughs> Guests in. I will guest them. Guesting. On the re- guesting. Uh, I already talked about this. I think it's a very fun movie. Uh, I don't think it's an Uncharted movie, though. I will say that, which is, mm. you know, it's a <laughs> win-win situation. Uh but I think that, uh, once again, I have to highlight this. I think that they were very smart um, turning the marketing campaign around and telling people, like, there's literally a video up with Neil Druckmann and Tom Holland saying that, look, this is our own take on Uncharted. You're not going to see the same stuff that you love in the games. Uh, it's it's going to be different. It's our take on what we feel like this could be as a movie. And I was like, you know what? Okay. I I, I adjusted my expectations even more. And uh, I went in and I was like, it's it's not going to be the same. Obviously, it can be the same. You can't turn uh, 20 plus hours of gameplay into a two hour movie. Just, you know, <laughs> it's, it, it's never going to happen. Um, so I was like, Okay, let's let's look at it this way. And uh, with with that, I was, I had a lot of fun with it. I really enjoyed it altogether. Uh, but I do have um, problems with it. Mm. Uh, one being a very big problem for me. <laughs> let's get into that first, because yes. <laughs> you uh, weren't a fan of Chloe in this movie. No, I I didn't have that much of an issue. I mean, mm-hmm. I agree, I think I agree because we we totally spoke about this a little bit before, but. I think I agree with you in that she doesn't feel enough like Chloe, like she the feel Chloe like that Chloe we know. I, 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 she's got like moments, like very, but like she's not got this, the this uh, what's the word, sardonic um, sort of way of talking that Claudia Black brings to to, to Chloe in the mm. games. Mm. She's a bit too. I don't really even know what it is to be honest, because like she's she's good. Like but the not as Chloe. Plays it, but she's not. It doesn't feel like Chloe, Mm-mm. who, yeah, is nah. is a lot. She's got more edges. Mm-hmm. I feel like, and it's a I, lot more. There were. I felt like there were shades. I could see shades, but like it wasn't enough of the whole thing. A bit like uh, the way I felt with Sully, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No. I. I just. I. It's no. Like if like listeners, Chloe is. One of my all-time favorite video game characters. Uh, she was one of the main reasons I started to cosplay as well, which is I, you know, it's not like I'm a big cosplayer or anything, but 
yes, I love to cosplay as her. Uh, uh, I always love her character, so I was like, you gotta do this right, otherwise we're gonna have a problem. And we have a problem here. It's not right. No hate towards the actress. I think Sophia Lee is great. Uh, but she's not Chloe. She just... I, I I think that that confidence, the wittiness, the, 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 the whole con woman thing that, that Chloe is, uh, it's just not there. It's, and she has... And we talked about this as well. She has no chemistry with Nate or Sully. They, it just... It just wasn't there. It, it just disappeared. Yeah. Like, you know, they had that uh, scene like, oh, she looks good. Yeah, don't even think about it, kid. And I'm like, uh, sure, I guess you you want to imply that there's something. Um, yeah, Do you know, I actually, I feel like that it leans into something that has been, it's not an issue that I tend to find it have uh, mm. in most things, just the nature of who I am. Mm. But there is a, a lot of talk about the sort of, I'm going to make up a word now. The desexification of Hollywood. There's no passion mm-hmm. in anybody. No. In between, like they, it's so like there's just no kind of like no Nothing. electricity no. between any like leading characters, and I feel like there is just none in this. And like the first time you you meet Chloe in the game is quite like mm-hmm. raunchy, to, yeah, for yeah. lack of a better word, yeah, yeah and yeah, it's yeah. like. You don't get any of that in no, in this nothing. at all, and it's sort of like it's like I, I don't need it to be like you know an X-rated relationship, but like there needs to be something that you palpable in. Um, yeah, like it, what is essentially meant to be like like an old fling. Yeah, by the time basically. that you, you get to her, in, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, where we first meet her uh, in in the games, and that yeah, I, I do agree that that's not. That's not it's, there. It's just not there. It's like you they know, seem like nice friends, like throughout yeah. the way. <laughs> yeah, but there's no sort of sense of like this could have been one of the great loves of Nate's life, which is kind of what you get from yeah, exactly from like, the game. I don't know why they keep doing this. Uh, lately, like you know, like Robins is not dead, or mm. there's no passion or something. Like uh, Chloe actively uses sec- her her sexuality to seduce they and just you know mm-mm. just like quite a lot <laughs> so it wasn't there it was non-existent uh on that end like you know yeah they put that whole oh, i'm gonna betray you but oh, oh wait a minute not really oh but there's wait no, a minute that's uh, the thing there's no stakes in it is no, there there's nothing. no stakes in in the two if, no. in the fact that she kind of like you know double crosses him it, 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 they care they keep talking about the fact that sully's gonna double cross but like Really, there's no evidence that he is actually going to do that at any point. No, because I was sitting there going, like, I don't think he is though. No, and and you know, it it just didn't hit as much as it hit in the game. Mm. Like, and I, you know, there was like we we at this point, if I look at it as someone who never played the games, it's like, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> great, I guess. Woo hoo! Who saw that coming? Who? No one. And 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 the other thing with Chloe is. I hate that they downgraded her character. Uh, she is just as knowledgeable as Nate, uh, and and I feel like that they took away a lot of her smartness mm. in this just to make Nate, other way, Nate <laughs> appear I, smarter. Yeah. And I, was I would like, also say that they don't even make Nate seem that smart exactly in this, and it, he's meant to be like a total. He's a he's, he's a, a he's a nerd. Well, he's, <laughs> he's a full on history nerd and he's really yeah. good at puzzles and I was waiting for those moments exactly. that you get in, in Uncharted games where he walks into a room and goes oh I figured oh, it out God. and then doesn't tell yeah. anybody what he's talking about yeah, 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 for like yeah. five minutes Yeah, he's like oh oh, it's so, it's so exciting it's, it's, this is yeah, amazing yeah, yeah. and it's like oh, what the fuck are you what talking about can you just like use these about? words please Nathan yeah 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 yeah. and I because I was waiting for those moments and I, I felt like they, they yeah. were very few and or like or really that completely wasn't not there any? at all really yeah. um and that's such a big part of like he's a he is a he's a big history buff. He is. Um, he is. I did like though just to be yeah go yeah back yeah, yeah the yeah. positive stuff. Yes, it was very interesting to see how pure Nate seems compared to like pretty much everybody around mm-hmm. him because mm-hmm. you've got the way they've set up Sully in this and that he's like only in it for the gold or actively <laughs> just like apparently leave anybody behind the moment he gets his hands on 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 it. Um, and then you've got. Chloe, who was apparently going to you know, double-cross everybody and all this sorts of stuff. 
he really is the only one that you're looking at where it's like he just he just wants to find it because yeah. that would be good and cool yeah like he's not really in like he's a he's a thief but he already is the honorable sort of center to the film and that's why i think he did such a i think they did in that sense really do him justice because he doesn't he's not a kind of like sort of backstabbing kind of person and they ever in the games he is always in it for the the actual find yeah but he's not really in it for the the glory he just wants to find the things mm. um which and i like that that they made that kind of like the center of him and i actually do quite like because obviously they kind of retroactively added in the fact they had a brother in to four after having done the first three games mm-hmm. so it's nice to have kind of have that basis yeah yeah, yeah. in in the, like agree. starting off in, in the first movie because it's like okay we have we know kind of where he comes from I will say that every time they were like, you're a Drake. I'm like, okay, but... But, <laughs> yeah, I was like... A couple that. of things. Bryce Strange didn't have any heirs. They chose that name. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm a bit upset that they took that away, to be honest. I think was that like, was a I cool... Liked the, yeah, I like the fact that they were the ones that were like, we're going to choose this as a kind of like our, our um, legacy yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, but, you know, it's, it's small That's, quibbles, I guess. I, yeah. I really like the guy who played the young Sam. I actually I did thought too. he had... Yeah, I, like a lot of the energy that yeah. I think oh, definitely. Um, in in the games, I, I was I was really really pleased with that whole opening bit when you saw the two of them. I was like, oh, this is very familiar, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I really like that part. Uh, I would say that I I actually love the little nods that they did uh, towards the game. Like, uh, I I love the opening because that's basically Uncharted three that's, and Uncharted uh, Uncharted two uh-huh. and four. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, like. We are throwing into the action, but it's gonna happen well, later. Well, I mean, so, like, technically boop, speaking, that like that one's um, kind of Uncharted three because that the whole sequence with the plane falling out of the plane yeah, yeah, that yeah. happens in Uncharted three. Yeah, yeah, yeah I but spent... I mean, the the op- like this is how they opened the Uncharted two. And, True, but like four. specific the, that specific set. Oh piece yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's because I spent the entire thing being like, well, okay, because actually looking into Nolan's um, cameo, which I knew he was going to be in it. Um, yeah, it was I, I, I kind of, I mean, I, I, um, Jack Septica, yeah, 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 yeah. I tweeted and he, about... they mentioned it, um, which was a failure, uh, I guess, because he wasn't supposed to tell <laughs> <laughs> no is in it. It's fine. I was, okay. I just been like, I hope I hadn't missed it. I was like, no, they made it very obvious <laughs> when he was when he sat there, was like, hey, something that happened to me once. And I'm like, yeah, except you fell into the desert and. <laughs> He walked around for you know X number of days. In actually, one of my favorite sequences in yeah. all of the games. Honest to God, I, it is. Um, I I have a lot of love for Uncharted Three. I know that for a lot of people, it's not their favorite, but it's it is my favorite. I like the set pieces in it the most. Mm. I, I I there's a lot of sort of um, it plays on a lot of tropes that I get very sort of like giddy about whenever they're used. Or mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it, it's so it it's just literally running through the back of my head. I'm going. Yeah, but that in that one you fell into the de- into the Rubicali Desert in you know, where you were looking for a realm of the pillars. <laughs> I'm like, this doesn't matter right now, but I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it was nice though. I just oh, yeah. I loved it. I was <laughs> I was the only one who the cinema who went Nolan. <laughs> everyone was like, what the fuck? I <laughs> very I very quietly went. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was lamb. Sorry, uh, sorry, cinema people. Uh, <laughs> I had to I had to. I was so happy to see him. I I knew it was going to happen, and I think it was fun. It was a very fun uh, nod. Uh, I, I I saw the retired uh, Nathan Drake in him, uh, who's at the end of uh, Uncharted just like, 4, just like, ah, yes. I got my wife and my kid, <laughs> and I live on good. the beach now. I'm all yeah, good. <laughs> I'm all good. It's all good. I was like, yeah, I like that. Um, I, I think it was great. And, and I can just imagine Nolan coming up with that idea of like, you know, I should just pop up here. <laughs> I can see him do that. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's always gonna be Nate. Like uh, you know, I I I loved uh, Tom Holland's take on it, and I was pretty loud about the fact that I was afraid when they cast him, because I was like, eh, no, I love you, but no. Uh, but he proved hmm. me wrong. He proved I, me wrong. I I wasn't sure when I saw the the, the trailers because I really was like, oh, they haven't made him like funny. But oh, actually, I, I, I think that I think I think I, the trailers paint him really badly. Yeah, um, they do. I think he really is the the emotional sort of set of this this movie. The scene where he's like fully like 
like confronting Sully about like what happened to his brother. Oh my god, was stunning. It was I actually so thought good. Well, he was so good in that in that whole thing of just being like, um, "You fucked me over, basically." Mm. Yeah, I can't yeah. believe you do this to me. Yeah, that sort of thing. I really liked that. I I actually did. I did like the whole sequence where they were they were going above and below. That felt like a very uncharted sequence. Um, yeah, but I'm trying. I'm trying to think of them. Um, other bits and pieces now. I I will I will tell you this though. I love their chemistry. I think I I predicted this and <laughs> and I think they were great I, together. I I was more pleased with it at the end. Of course, like in that, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In, that's so, where it like, just yeah, it's the but that was what I wanted. And I understand that it was like the whole point is that this is the, them eating and then yeah, yeah, yeah. I just it, it was that thing of like because he was such a dick throughout most of the movie, I was really kind of annoyed. Yeah, but uh, I think they did that well in the end like you know he starts of being this dick person and then it just slowly just starts to care about Nain and you start seeing it that you know he actually I, it, cares it, about the kid like <laughs> it's the, the, the trouble is I don't think that they threaded that needle particularly well because I think that he, they made him too callous in certain places mm. where in he like I think he can have that sort of laissez-faire kind of attitude without making him seem like he literally doesn't care because like I think the the impression that I wanted to get from the film was that you know this did matter to him like the fact what happened did affect him but like in the scene where he's sort of like um, when he tells him that he he left there's no sense of regret in him and I feel like if he ha- like he can be saying that like you know I I had to look after myself and then get out I would have liked to have seen that sort of conflict. Like a sense of just sort of like, um, like he's saying that like obviously I had to protect myself, but in reality there is there should be an undercurrent of like, I don't I don't feel good about this, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I felt like that was missing, and I think that's why I I read him more as being, like you know this this huge dick when he didn't need to be, but I felt like the the payoff when when they actually had the whole thing of him, you know, abandoning the gold in order to save Nate, I was like okay that that I understand. That feels a bit more earned. I just don't. <laughs> I, I'm just still not on board with with him as a. I don't think he's. Yeah, I just don't. I don't think he's right for it. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. I, by the end, especially, I just didn't mind him at all anymore. Like at the beginning, I was like, eh, "That's not very sunny." Like, I can uh... live with it now. Is the thing. I feel like I can live. I'm not. I'm still not pleased about. It. I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm pleased. Uh, I'm gonna say that they, they actually do work together. Like I, I did like their chemistry. Yeah. I think it was one of the strongest points of the whole movie. To be I, fair. I, I was the most pleased in the um sort of. It's not really even a post credit thing, really, is it? But oh, it was like. But I felt like that was the that most was... uncharted thing in the whole thing because it was like you've got the map referencing the the, the U boat in the jungle. Mm-hmm. With, with, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's because he said Nazi map. I was like German U boat in the, <laughs> the jungle. I know what this is going for. Yep. Um, we're looking for Eldorado now. Um, and then he comes in. He's actually got the mustache. Yeah, and he's yeah, like yeah. got the, the he gets given the. the... <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what that's about, but I okay. don't know, but I love it. <laughs> They were just sort of like, we need to give Sully come up some kind of like heart, I guess. We'll give him a cat. I love him. I love him. And that cat is beautiful. God it was damn. A pretty cat, to be it's fair. A very pretty cat. Um, uh, yeah. But yeah, when they gave him the cigar, I was like, this feels more like yeah, Sully somehow. Like that. you like you literally have like some you've waited the entire movie to actually give me Sully, and I feel a little cheated by it. Uh, to be okay, so here's the thing. I I I I did feel uh cheated, but at the same time. You know, they changed the whole thing, how they meet, uh, you know, like, because basically Nate is like 13 when they first meet. Uh, so it's it's very... It's hard to gain it. D- yeah, yeah. It's very it's different in, in in the games. I think, I think yeah. so. Uh, check it. Oh, now it, no, it it's, it's, it, it, I, it the, the place is right. It's just the pronunciation that I'm getting wrong. Cat- it's it's genius. Cat- 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 Listen yeah. to it on Google. <laughs> uh, Columbia. Yeah. And uh, mm. I don't know where I was. I, my brain farted. Cartagena. Oh, I was really wrong. <laughs> oh my god, that's far off. <laughs> that's apparently the British pronunciation. Oh, gotcha. That's the American one. Hmm. Cartagena. Cartagena. Yeah. Hmm. That's the American. This is this is what you get for butchering the Spanish languages. It's probably. It pro- I think it's Cartagena because it's the G sound in, in Spanish. 
I just believe you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, okay, I'm, I'm okay. It, it came back. Um, so it's obviously very different how they meet here. Uh, it, it's it's more involved with Sam and, and, and everything. So I was like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I, I think I like this. Obviously, this is a, a, a younger uh, Sully as well. So I didn't even, I, I really love the fight scene in the, in the end uh, on, uh, on the ship uh, where they finally realize that they have to help each other and they and they fought together. Um, I, I love that. Uh, I, and I think it was the fight scenes especially were so well uh, choreographed. I, I really I, enjoyed I, them. I was very big fan of the fact that they felt that they had weight. I feel like yeah. there's some, there's, I've seen some fight scenes recently. Um, actually, yeah, I'm adding the actual, the Cowboy Bebop live action remake. Um, that feels so light. Like mm -hmm. none of the hits actually feel like they're actually doing anything. They feel like they're just sort of tapping each other and then they're yeah. sort of flying off in a different way. But this actually felt like everything had like proper weight to it every yeah, time yeah, yeah. something, um, which I was pleased, very, very pleased with. Mm -hmm. um, it's like what's what you want out of a good action romp thing. You want it to feel like the fights actually have a sort of a sense of like ow <laughs> to them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I I think uh, what they did and what they are doing with it is that they're building them up for those who haven't played the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I think that they you know it was so satisfying when Nate put on the holster oh i, I was going to talk about that because it really is it does feel uh, quite earned when it happens because i wasn't expecting it at all i hadn't yeah. even kind of clocked that it wasn't because in my head i was like oh they've stopped nate from like shooting about ten thousand people that's nice yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. that's yeah, a yeah. good point because like you play the game he's a he's a he's, mass murderer he's a mass murderer yeah <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> There's a reason why there is a um, an achievement in Child and Child Four called Ludo Narrative Dissonance. <laughs> yep. The man just kills everybody. Just um, pew, 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 and pew. nobody ever questions it. Um, but uh, like when he when he pulled it off that guy and he put it on, I was like, oh, oh, they're doing the yep. thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Complete. And you can hear the music just. Oh, that music. was the other thing I was going to talk about. I was, I wasn't. I don't know if I just wasn't expecting it. But when they actually heard the 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 theme for Uncharted come in, I was like, "Oh, mm -hmm. okay, the feeling is here now." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got, I got it. Thank I you. I, I appreciate mean, yeah. this. Altogether, I didn't like the soundtrack. It's just very sort of forgettable for me. But well, when, I mean, other than it was, it was when really that just in. the. the yeah. I was like, okay, yes, we're home. Uh, good stuff. Uh, but, uh, you know, he, he earned that moment. And I, I think that's why they left Sully getting a mustache to the end. Because I truly think that it's going to be the second movie where we, we're getting the Nate and Sully that we mm. already know. And I think we might to be, be getting... fair, I don't mind. Yeah, I, I, I understood. Like, it was on, it was on those, like, on a sort of... Uh, a level that you know I've mm -hmm. studied this sort of thing before it makes sense I totally mm -hmm. see the logic it just on an emotional level I was a bit I sort know. of like I know. grumpy about it I know I got you I got you that's why I say that it's you know it's it's a fun and exciting movie and I mm. love the action but as an uncharted movie eh not so much Anto oh, well. uh, Antonio Banderas kind of wasted oh so wasted so I was, I... Like the man is so talented and mm -hmm. barely got him. Like he, re I was saying that, like for most people, like this guy barely feels like an antagonistic force. Um, what's going on? And then when you know she kills him on on the plane, I was like, oh, that's why. <laughs> that, that that's why I understand what's going on here now. Um, I was wondering if she was meant to be some kind of like Nadine, yeah, esque. Sort of esque. Yeah, that was the first thought as well. Like, but, yeah. like she's clearly something something else I know. it's like something. maybe like it, it's some kind of starting off point but they've gone like with something something different i will say i because they spend half the movie referring to her as jill like they use like her first her first and yeah. second name but like when they have they go she words. words um when nate decides to confront her on the plane um and go and the, he, he, he's he, when he goes oh, i can't i can't let her get away with it i was in my head i was like why does he care that um about chloe in this situation why is he like defending chloe i forgot that she was the one like just based on the fact that they used a different like her surname 
I forgot that she was the one who killed Sam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so when 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 he came out, I was like, "Did you kill my brother?" I was like, "Oh, I'm in a different place." Okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> I misread that entirely. <laughs> Bad. It's okay. It happens. <laughs> makes much more sense. Other yeah. thing I said was very much like playing through the entirety of Uncharted Three in my head as they were doing like the whole the whole plane sequence um every time they were like sam's dead i was like no he's not he got gut shot and is currently he's really <laughs> he's he's in a panamanian prison and probably yeah. won't get out for a while yeah <laughs> what i didn't understand is why they didn't show him at the end so i was like you know we already saw him he was on the picture that sully showed to me yeah. so i was like why are you all secretive like it's like why you keep it? maybe it was just to like keep it so that people who don't know figure it out when they actually show the, the but, postcard but it does feel like it was a bit sort of like we don't get to see his face okay it was a bit odd all right maybe it it's because odd. they actually maybe it's because they actually haven't asked who they actually want to be the, the adult sam yeah but that's the uh, sully shows the could... picture that you can see sam on and it's not the same actor who played him at the beginning oh i couldn't tell <laughs> I, 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 I don't think i, I don't, don't think just look like him with a beard um no, i don't think it's the same one at least for me, it it seemed like two different actors. So I was like, why why won't you show him? <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe it, they are still looking for the right Sam. I I don't know. It was the only thing I could think of is that they, they, this is just sort of like you know stand-in sort of body mm. double sort of thing for when they decide who they actually want to be playing Sam whenever they Possible. bring that in. Yeah. Uh, uh, one other little detail I really liked. In that post credit sequence where you get to see Nate and, and, and Sam making that deal, um, the shirt mm -hmm. is the shirt that you see Nate wearing in, in Uncharted Through when you first yeah. when you see him as a as a kid. Yeah. That really made like it's those little ones where I was like, I, I see what you did that. Yeah. It was nice. I like I like those little you know guys. It's okay. There you go. I got you. <laughs> I got you. And I'm like, ah, Thank you. It warms the heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I yeah. guess the next question becomes: What do you want to see? Because I, it's so far that it's doing well. Because mm, it just opened on well. on Friday in the US. It's been yes. out here for a week uh, here in the UK, and you got to see it early because you have friends in I high do. places. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, so it's it the kind of yeah. What do you what do you want to see from from more? Because I have a feeling we might end up getting more, and I'm I'm, I'm not against so it. No, <laughs> I uh, think I will watch another one. Uh, they have to do justice for Chloe. Like I will I will say that I I don't uh, I don't mind Sophia Lee, but uh damn, talk to Chloe. I think like, she oh, has I don't know. potential uh, in there. I, but I, 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 th I think she's there's the yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm still I'm very much on edge with her. Like you know, I I like her in other <laughs> things that she did. I I think she's she's a very good actress. But for me, she's just so not Chloe at all that I I feel like that it it needs a lot of changing. Uh, I didn't understand why they couldn't put the the famous red shirt on. Like that was a mystery for me. Like you know. You you made Nate accurate and uh, uh, and Sully as well, I, you know, the, with the, with the with the shirts and whatnot. Uh, so what was that about? I didn't really get in. Um, I want the antagonist to be more, more antagonistic, more antagonistic and more heavyweight. Mm. Uh, you know, I I love uh, the all the antagonists in the games. Like I I think they did such a good job with them. Uh, obviously, they have more time to build them up, but um, you know, let's not get into that again. Uh, so I need a better antagonist. I, I Here's the thing: yes. if they ever do Rafe, I'm not going to be happy unless it's Jake Gyllenhaal, just because. The oh, guy obviously, who, the, the the guy in Uncharted has be, looks so much like Jake Gyllenhaal. And it has to be Jake such a good job. Yeah, it it has to be Jake Gyllenhaal. I I mean, and you they're know, friends now, so it's not like they it's are husbands. Possible. They are husbands. Come on, <laughs> it's a true romance, okay? Gonna have the same haircut he had in Prisoners because that's that's why perfect. It, it, it's, it's, the, yeah. it's the exact look. It's just, it's the exact look. Like yeah, he's he's Rafe. Uh, so yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, I need a very good Sam. Like 
because mm. I I love Sam very dearly. Uh, so the big one is they need to do proper justice to Elena. They need to have somebody who's gonna be able to. I don't like Elena, so oh, I don't care. Fuck's sake. <laughs> No, like I think the relationship between Nate and Elena is so it's important. Like, it is so important and I love how um the familiarity that comes with them and as as the the games go on there's the my favorite kind of relationships in these kind of things is the way that you can kind of tell the intimacy because there's like an ease mm. between um uh, these two people. And yeah, there needs to be actual, you know, fucking chemistry. <laughs> That's very important. Just cast in there, yeah. So, like, yeah, that's it. Mm. I am, yeah. And so I. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those, I'm like, I. Hmm. I, do... I don't want to be like she's blonde, but. Uh, that was this like... uh, uh, debate. I remember this very clearly uh, when the first news started to come in like, about Uncharted and who they casting and whatnot. And for some reason, uh, I I think people believe that uh, Tati Gabrielle, who played Braddock in this one, was cast as... Uh, uh, names? Nadine? No. Uh, um, Elena. Um, oh. And and people are like, but Elena is white and blonde yeah, and no, blah, blah. That's, that's and why I was like humming and hawing because I was like, I don't want to be that person. Obviously not. Yeah, I'm like there's um, it's because I guess it's just one of those things where it's just sort of like there's it, there's such an image, like there's such a specific look in my head mm. that, that it's. But then I uh, yeah, I don't want to be that dick. <laughs> <laughs> it was to be honest, it was very annoying. Then immediately that was the first thing. I like yeah, here's this actress, she's black, but Eleanor isn't. So fuck you, I guess. And I'm like, you. It's not even out. We don't even know if she's cast mm. as Elena. Like, so I don't know what your problem is. Like, shut up. <laughs> Just shh, 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 shh. We don't need it. Shut up. Uh, and then obviously she wasn't. So oh, she's the bad guy. Yeah, she's the bad guy. Um, so like, I honestly, this is like my unpopular opinion. We don't chat it. I don't like Elena. Like at all. To be fair, like this, she's just the kind of person for me. I just, nah. Um, I love Chloe. Um, but, uh, you know, yes, they have to get someone who is very badass and uh, has a great chemistry with, with Nate uh, because I think that's, like, a very important part of it all. Because if they don't sell it on that front, then that, it's, it won't work. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if she's going to show up in the next one. Well, I mean, if they're doing, if they do anything close to um, the U boat in the in the yeah, in yeah, the yeah. jungle, that is, you know, she, that's yeah, the reason. Yes. She, yeah. She, but then um, they 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 find the U boat in the um, in the game because they go and find the coffin, mm -hmm. like if it's a bunch of Drake's mm -hmm. coffin mm -hmm. that's empty, and she's the kind of reason that they end up going out there. So who yeah. knows? But like, they can't leave her out for that long. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't think they will, to be honest. Like, it, it would make sense for her to show up in the next one, I guess. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I, I think the other thing that I had a problem, I always have this problem with movies like this. It's just they, it feels like they solve the puzzles a bit too quickly. Probably like, because the puzzles aren't that difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's like, you know, and, and especially what I mean is it's not the puzzle throughout the whole movie like you know where's this where's that i mean when they are like at a certain location that no one ever been before but they immediately right. find this and that and it's like but, it... but nobody nobody pushed that bit of the the, yeah. the wall in, in in however many centuries that this exactly. thing has been <laughs> and i'm like that's a bit okay <laughs> i'm sure <laughs> so it's it, it always bugged me with, with all of the like with, with um national treasure and all the all this kind of stuff i'm like I, i'll never say a bad word about national treasure i love national treasure so much i love Those it as well like... i love it as well don't get I me understand. wrong <laughs> it doesn't make any sense nobody ever like accidentally held um <laughs> the declaration of independence to a candle and went hey there's a whole map on the back of this thing 
no, I love it, but uh, it it always bugged me a little bit with, with with movies like this. Like you know, it's just like, yeah, it's there, and I'm like, yeah, I'd like I- to see Nate being a little bit more of a massive history nerd because they see like, yes. you see bits of it in the beginning when yeah. he's like, you know, but that needs to be really baked into the just, plot. Yeah, yeah, like it That's needs Nate. to be necessary that he just knows all of this stuff because he is, he's, he because he's Nate. He's Nate. Um, He's Nate, and he loves he loves history, and he loves the exactly. stories that come from 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 these things. And that's why I like the relationship between him and Elena, because Elena likes stories, but like in a different way, because she's a journalist. That's she true. Can, that's a good yeah. That's good. Um, she shares that kind of passion, but it's like it's it's different enough that they become compatible. It, that, that I think that's a very it, that is why it it's so sort of layered and nuanced. They have enough overlap in their interests, but they go about it in different ways because he was. You know, he's a thief and and, and sort of you know swashbuckly and, and all this sort of stuff. And but he genuinely, he's also kind of you know he is a historian in, in many ways. If if he doesn't, you know, he's not Indiana Jones or anything. <laughs> he doesn't have a degree, but like Elena does all of this, you know, photojournalism and 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 all you know, this sort of stuff. So it's like there's there's overlap in their interests, but they they go about it in different ways, and it becomes their sort of shared passion. Um, and the reason they they bond and it's like I just like those kind of relationships that kind of mature into something that's very um, nuanced and and you know familial um, over mm. time. I think mm. they're them in Uncharted Four is my favorite. It's just that's, of all of. Okay, that's where I got mad at her. To be honest, until then I was like, eh, okay, uh, but that's when I got mad at her. I I will tell you why I hate this trope. I I. I hate people like this. I, you know, just don't do what you like to do anymore. She never, they, they never had the sort of like, that was not what happened. It wasn't that they, he uh-huh. made the decision to stop doing it. And then he kind of regretted it. The thing she got mad at was the fact that she, he lied to her. That was the thing she got mad at. It wasn't the fact that she, because she, you know, very quickly on the thing goes, oh no, I like this too. We have to figure out ways to be able to do this. And that is legal. And that means that we don't lie to each other about this sort of thing anymore that was that was the only re- that was the the whole crux of the reason she got angry at him was that like he fucked off didn't tell her where she was he was going got himself into incredibly dangerous situations and yeah she has a very valid point if you had gone it's like if you had gone off into the middle of the jungle and died i would know i wouldn't know about it like that is that's the whole thing she cares about him <laughs> And when he lies to her, that's the, it's, a, it's a betrayal of trust. It's not that she thinks, "Hey, I don't want you doing the thing that you care about anymore." Because like he, she, I think in that in that whole sequence in in, in the um, uh, in their living room where she's talking about her article and all this sort of mm-hmm. stuff, and um, and he kind of sort of daydreams a bit. He, she, it's not like she, they, uh, he, he, she kind of goes, "Well, what if it, maybe she, she's the one who's encouraging him to actually go and do the dive that Jameson's talking about." Because, and he's like, no, we're not going to do it because the le- it, like, he doesn't have the her- permits. It could be dangerous and that whole stuff. Mm-hmm. And he's the one who puts that boundary in place. And then he breaks it. But there's a reason why he won't trust her. Yeah. What reason? I, d- <laughs> I don't know. I don't like her. Okay. <laughs> it pissed me off. I was like, ah, <laughs> no. And all of the stuff that he does and when, when, when he lies to her is it's based solely on his insecurity. He has it in his head that he, he did that. Because he put the boundary in place that we, we we made a decision to not do this anymore, and I broke that. And she goes, "Yeah, but like that, she, that, that it's it's the lying that gets to her. That's the that's the only issue about the whole thing." And I think she the reason she comes around is because they go through the whole thing, and she's like, "Oh, we've both been missing this, and we didn't need to sacrifice this in the first place." And that's where they get to their new happy medium afterwards, because he's the one who keeps putting like. Even after going through and being like, every, like, multiple people are just like, we could just go and finish this thing. He's like, no, it doesn't need to be about this anymore. Like, I don't need to find this treasure. And it's like, Sam is the one who still feels like he has to see the thing through to the end. I got a whole lot. I I love Elaine is very mature and important, and <laughs> very dearly. And it annoys you that I don't like her. <laughs> Wait, yes. <laughs> Look, I, it's okay. It's it's complicated. I have a compli- I, I I I have a complicated history with, with some of the women characters in any media. <laughs> I know that's annoying. 
that's why every time we do this, I'm like, no, we need to talk this through properly because I think you need to let go of some biases. I don't know what it is. Like, I can't even explain it myself. I just, it, they have to be very, 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 very good and well written for me to like them. Like, I'm very picky, especially, well, with everything, basically. And, and, and I, I think it's, I don't know. I can't explain. <laughs> I can't explain mine. It's part of the reason why I'm gonna this will be the last thing and then we can and then we can wrap it up. Yes. Part of the reason why the scene I was hoping to put up back here, but I couldn't find a good enough screenshot. Mm. Pardon me. Bless you. Um the the scene in Uncharted 4 when they go into the dining room with all and they find all the pirate captains yes. toast and they fit and Nate talks through everything that happened and he's like going through and it just cuts over to Elena just looking at him. And she's got this look on her face like, oh, right, this is the man I fell in love with. This is this is exactly what he's meant to be doing. Um, if I had some kind of sense of like, um, a, if, if they had that discussion about like, it's too dangerous, we may, both made this decision and then I broke this whole thing and all this other stuff. Um, maybe I was too harsh and all this. Other. She's not a perfect person. Nobody is. No one like, is. You know? No one is. That's true. She had, but it's just that she has, goes through this entire face journey where she goes, oh, right. This is who we are. This is who you are. And this is why I love you in the first place because you're so passionate about this sort of thing. And she forgives him. And that you see it all in a face journey. You don't even, they don't even really talk about it. He just goes, oh, I'm sorry because he realizes he's rambling. And then he goes, I'm sorry because he's apologizing for the, the lying. And she, she just goes, it's okay. And then that's the last time they talk about it. And it's like, it's so beautiful. And and it sums up them, I think, so perfectly. Hmm. I do and it means that they they get to that new resolution of how they actually go about doing, you know, the, what they do for the rest of their lives and, and with yeah, their, yeah. Their, their kid. I do think that that whole, you know, end to Uncharted when they go, okay, we're actually going to tell our daughter about the things we do. is like part of the telling is that you guys are going to have to talk about the number of people you killed. <laughs> yeah, mass murderers, my dear. The both of them. It's okay. <laughs> it happens when you're treasure hunting. <laughs> yep. Uh, I don't know. I, I think uh, it, it, it contributed to one of my best drawings because I think one of my best pieces is actually Eleanor. <laughs> Among my uncharted drawings, I'm like, ah, and you turned out great. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I also just have a, I have a I have a soft spot for Emily Rose because she was also oh, in love Graceland, her. who yeah, which I is a show her. I love. She yeah. wasn't treated very well in Graceland. <laughs> oh boy, uh, she kind of got she got she kind of got fucked over by uh, by Mike in in that second season. But like, um, uh, yeah, she's I great. I also just great. think she has a really nice voice. Oh yeah, I love her voice. So oh, much. and she's obviously in Haven, which was mm -hmm. a good show that I never finished. <laughs> I watched the end of season four, downloaded the first half of season five, and then just didn't stop watching. Look, it happens. It happens. Uh, but yeah, all together, though, what point would you give on a one to ten scale to Uncharted? Oh, God, on a one to ten. Jesus. Yeah, why not? I usually go to like five. Um, That's a ten. Just to make it fun. Six and a half. Fair. I think that's a decent. I think, yes, yeah, so about, about that's six and a half. Has room for improvement, but a lot of fun. Yeah, I think I could, yeah, I could roll with that six and a half, maybe seven. -ish. That's a stretch. Hmm. Yeah, six and a half is good. Yeah, okay. I can work 6. with 7. that. 6.75. Six... <laughs> okay, I can work with that too. I did really enjoy it. I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, I love Uncharted, and uh, uh, as soon as I could just put away uh, all my love uh, for the games and be like, this is a new take, take it in. It was, it was a lot of fun. And, and... Gotta play them again. Yeah, that that was my... <laughs> that was the big one. Yeah. I, I was like, I should play these again. Yeah, that was like, yeah, okay, I will. Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, I just not looking forward to that portrait. In the first one, I hate. Yeah, that that's part. the thing. I might not play the first one because I don't. I haven't really played the first one since um, I played it the first mm -hmm. time because it's so, mm -hmm. it's very slippy. It is. Nate moves like three times the the steps that he should do on one step. <laughs> it just feels like he's slipping on ice the whole time. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a bit. Uncharted annoying. two. Uncharted two. It's my one of my favorites. 
two and I mean, four. it's considered, uh, I think when people talk about like, what's the best Uncharted game, I just don't, con- I don't count Uncharted 4 in because it's like, that's its own whole other thing. Because obviously that's they true. did The Last of Us in between and they made this. Mm. Um, and it's just like, it's so obviously beautifully polished that I just sort of like, don't even, these are a whole different like era of Naughty Dog yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I usually just, and um, while I recognize that Uncharted 2 is probably the tighter and better game, I just like Uncharted 3 a lot. <laughs> That's fair. You know, I, I just, to be fair, I just love them all. <laughs> I love Uncharted. Done. Easy peasy. And I think this can be turned into something great. And I like that. Uh, but yeah, that was us for today. Um, and uh, next time we're going to talk about The Legend of Force Mahina because I will I watch should. it. I promised. So, real quick. Yes. Do you have something to show? I got this today. Oh my god! That this is... is my my script. Oh my god! I got, as part of the uh, the Kickstarter. Well, I I I. That's um, beautiful. This is the display box, and then I've got. Oh, where's the fucking the actual script? Ah, <laughs> uh, that is awesome. Including all its glory. That's so I've cool. I've also got the the signed um top sheet that. I, is right here oh look at that That's this is awesome. why I, I spent lots and lots of money helping to get this, <laughs> this show made. um but yes that'll be next week i have you know obviously a lot of things to say <laughs> which is fair uh i don't know yet but uh i will get into it this week and watch it i'm ready i'm ready to watch it and then afterwards we are going to talk about the batman because that's next in line. I think the Batman's actually coming out. <laughs> next week. Next yeah. week. Yeah, let's do it. Let's rock and roll. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Uh, uh, I found out you can rate us on Spotify now. I just discovered this. There's an actual rating system on Spotify. So if you do that, that'd be very nice. Yes, please. But also on, you know, any other podcasting platform, platform, platform that you do. Yeah. And, and share us with your friends. Please do. We love you all. Take care. Bye. Thank you.